The largest spectacle in the gaming universe is right around the corner. E3 kicks off in Los Angeles on June 9th, and with it comes a slew of costumed superfans, massive press conferences, and of course, new games. We've already had some hands-on time with dozens of new games, and here's everything we can tell you so far. One of the most unique games we'll see at E3 is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. It's ridiculously complex with the procedurally generated Nemesis system, enhancing the pre-Lord of the Rings plotline. The game follows Talion, a human ranger from Gondor, who is responsible for watching over the Black Gate leading to Sauron's kingdom. The enemies arrayed against Talion are uniquely yours. Their names, locations, weaknesses, and plot twists are all a product of your actions. It's one of the most exciting and fresh takes on the idea of player-authored narratives that we've encountered in a long time. Official launch date is October 7th, but expect more details to be revealed at E3. Killzone Shadowfall debuted with the PS4, and to meet that launch date, Guerrilla Games had to sideline a few facets of the game. Enter Killzone Shadowfall Intercept. A standalone expansion of the core game, Intercept introduces a co-op mode in which four players can take on different roles as they attempt to repel Hellgast incursions on three different control points. Sony isn't ready to discuss pricing yet, but it's confirmed that the add-on releasing in summer 2014 will be a free download for those that have a Shadowfall season pass. Keep a close eye out for more specific release plans as E3 draws nearer. After a short hour of gameplay, it's apparent that Turtle Rock Studios has something special in Evolve. At the heart of it, this asymmetrical competitive multiplayer game pits four human hunters, each with a different role, against an armored alien monster. The creature can grow or evolve in both size and power, which can then turn the tables on its pursuers. This forces the team of four to cooperate or perish. Turtle Rock promises that we'll be seeing more monsters, hunters, maps, and modes prior to launch. In short, more everything. Evolve has all the makings of being the rare new title that makes a major splash when it first launches, which we now know will be happening on October 21st. Other highlights of E3 we're looking forward to include the next chapter for Master Chief. Microsoft has confirmed the planned fall 2015 release of Halo 5 Guardians, and they sent us this teaser image. We'll be horribly disappointed if they don't bring more than this to E3. EA Sports UFC, which is only coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, feels like it's being positioned as the first head-turner in the next generation of true-to-life fighting games. MMA fans won't have to wait much longer to find out. EA Sports UFC is out on June 17, 2014. Internet sleuths blew the lid off of EA's planned E3 announcement of Battlefield Hardline. Gotta love the internet. The game shifts away from modern warfare theaters to focus on cops and robbers. EA's confirmed the game and watch for more from them at their June 9th press conference. And finally, Civilization Beyond Earth is the next chapter in Sid Meier's tale of human advancement. In this edition, humanity rockets off into the unknown, venturing into outer space and onto an unsettled planet. Expect to see much more from all of these titles and a whole lot more as we dive headfirst into E3, starting with press day on June 9th.